Hi everyone, welcome to JavaScript coding interview series. In today's video, you have to find the delete output of the below code and you have to provide a valid reason why you have the selected that particular option. There are two delete uh, statements, okay, and one first one is used before the console.log of one and there is a block scope. We are defining one variable let name equal to JavaScript. Now we are uh, deleting that name. After that, we are trying to access that particular name and we are trying to print that. So this is the question all about and there are four options. Uh, in the first console.log we will be printing uh, the first option is 1 and the second uh, console.log also will be printed uh, that is JavaScript and the second option is 1 will be printed but there will be no logs for the second uh, during the second log. And the third option is there will be uh, no log for the first one and the second one when we are trying to access the name it will be undefined. And the fourth option is there will be no logs for the first one. But when we are trying to uh, access name, there will be a reference error and it will throw name does not exist. So please try from your end and see which is the right answer. So let's try from our end and see what is the output we are getting. I have this particular script available in test.js file and this particular script I am calling it in the index.html as you can see here. Okay. And now what I will do, I will just uh, make sure that everything is running fine. Okay. So I am running the uh, script index.html I am running. And for the moment, before we uh, deep dive into this particular question, let me comment this out. Uh, I will be, if in case if there are uh, any printings, right. So I am just uh, commenting the do console.log. And here let me refresh this. And let me open the console. Okay. So now everything is ready, up and running. So uh, uh, regarding the de delete statement, delete operator in JavaScript, right? So that's a very powerful concept uh, available in uh, JavaScript. So what it basically does is the delete operator removes a property from an object, okay? And if the property's value is an object and there are no more references to the object, then the object that held by that property is eventually uh, released automatically okay so to give an a brief insight i am having one example i am having an object uh, tutorial okay so in this tutorial there are uh, two properties subject and uh, lesson right so i'm uh, trying first i'll just print uh, console.log of uh, tutorial dot subject okay so if i print that now if you can see here uh, this will be getting printed that is javascript now what i will do is i will try to delete uh, tutorial dot subject okay now again i will try to print that so in this case what will happen is what will happen that will be getting deleted so if you see here first one will be printing javascript but the second is getting undefined so that's what the you can actually remove a property from an object using the delete operator. So whenever that uh, there are no more references to the object, the object held by that property is eventually released automatically. And what is the return value of delete? It is true. Whenever we are actually deleting, right? If you actually print this, uh, okay. If I actually print this uh, console, right? Console dot log, okay. Console dot log of if I print this so you can see here it is returning true so what does that mean uh, so the return value is uh, true okay return value is true and for all cases except when the property is a uh, non configurable property in which case false will be false is returned in uh, non strict mode what is non configurable property so if i am having one uh, particular uh, variable okay i am having a var var is actually present in global scope var details equal to test and if i try to delete that okay var details i am trying to delete uh, details so then what will happen so if it is able to delete that will return true but if it is not able to return uh, return uh, delete then it will be returning false so in this case you can see it is false so what's happening is so where is actually present in the global scope and by default it is non-configurable 
So, whenever a property, if, even if it is in the uh, object and if it is configured as non configurable, if you are setting it as when you are defining the property, you are making the configurable as false, then you will not be able to delete that. Okay? So, that is what it is mentioning here. So, whenever a property or a uh, uh, whenever a property is non configurable, that cannot be deleted and it will be returning false. <coughs> so, that is about uh, delete uh, operator. So, in this case how it will work, okay. so in our case how it will work. So, we have discussed about uh, delete and we have to see and delete actually uh, for this particular statement, this is a statement okay. delete uh, console.log of 1. <coughs> so, in that case uh, for the statements actually delete will not be uh, having any effect and this will be printed as it is. Okay. So, you can see here I am just uh, uncommenting that console.log of 1 and you can see that it does not have any impact the delete is not having any impact and one gets printed. So, the console.log of one gets executed and it gets printed. Then what will happen for the uh, this particular block scope? In this block scope also you are mentioning let name equal to uh, javascript and you are trying to delete that name. Okay. But what happens here? So, name is actually uh, uh, it will not be getting deleted. Okay. So, let name equal to javascript delete name. So, that is uh, not uh, it is not uh, non configurable and it is uh, it will not be getting deleted ok ok this is not this is a variable just a variable and you cannot delete that and uh, if you print that console dot log of this one. So, then again you can see that uh, that also gets printed ok. So, both are actually like uh, you can say that it is an uh, on non configurable property and it is returning false ok. So, whenever if you want to delete a property and if it is uh, configurable in that case uh, the property will be removed. So, even if it is in a global scope and if it is we are configuring uh, say uh, if it is making as configurable then that gets deleted otherwise it is not getting deleted. Okay. So, in this also it is non configurable and you cannot delete that. So, that is why it is uh, when you are trying to access that name it gets printed. So, the option in this answer uh, uh, answer is like A is the correct answer and you can there are many other use cases of uh, this delete. So, we will be planning another uh, uh, coding interview challenge with delete like deleting an array you can uh, explore more on that we will come up with that question again. So, uh, whenever just you have to understand one thing that whenever it is a uh, property and if it is configurable that property can be removed uh, using the delete operator, but if it is non configurable then that property uh, will not be able to delete and it will return false in this case. So, that is it regarding a delete operator thanks a lot for watching.